morning welcome back to the vlog how is everybody Jessica, thank you so much for joining me today. What's up guys? I vlogged in, I think it's like two weeks. I needed that wee break, so I did. Because I was so tired and I wasn't really doing much anyway. Just sitting about the house and going to share stuff. That's literally all I've been doing. But Melanie's getting on great on nursery, so she is. Um, she didn't even say bye to me. She just literally runs on. Which is great, I was saying to Dawn and Shirster and she was saying well that shows you that you raised her to be independent and, and that's brilliant for kids that are like that so I'm glad that she's enjoying it. She starts full time next week so that'll be great because at the minute she's only in for two hours and you can't really do anything in the two hours. She can come home and get the house cleaned a bit but you can't really go anywhere. And Molly's doing great too. She's feeding like a monster during the night. So I'm heading up to town today with my granny and Stephanie. I'm picking them up at half ten. I think Grammy will already be in the town, but I'm picking Stephanie up at half ten. And then um, we're going to browse around. I need to get Molly some jewel bubs because she bokes all the time. She does like a wee spewing thing after a feed. Um, they were saying in Sure Start that she, it looks like she has a reflux. Um, so I need the jewel bubs. And Manny's getting on great too, you know, he's loving that. So yes, him and his friends like took turns driving up and down so it's not too bad. And he's probably going to get the train some days, aren't you? So he's enjoying it, he has really big lectures, like way more than we did. We had like the most, 20 in a class. He has hundreds, I think he said 200, so completely different from... McGee anyway, who well, completely different from my class. I'm not sure about science, maybe science and McGee's, like bigger numbers or what. But I don't think it would be anywhere near them numbers. So yeah, I'm just going to drink my coffee, get showered and then get me all to school. And then I'll be off then. Morning, Mel. Morning. Morning. Hi vlog. Hi vlog. <laughs> So I am ready to go into town. Um, also, I was on Specsavers yesterday and they told me that I need a new prescription. It's slightly deteriorated. They said it could have been a pregnancy too because um, pregnancy can deteriorate your teeth and your eyesight so that's probably why. So yeah, I'll have to get new glasses. I ordered some from Direct Sight. I've actually previously got glasses from that site so when they arrive, I will show you. These are just my old prescription for the meantime. But yeah, I'm going on the to town today. Um, I'm actually getting a wee tattoo today on my hip, I think. I'm not sure. I'm not set 100%, but I think I'm getting it on my hip, like below my appendix scar. So I think I'm going to get there. And I'm not going to tell you what I'm getting just yet, so I'll just have to wait and find out. But it's something small. Um... And I'm going to discuss another few pieces when I'm there with a the guy. I've got a few pictures that I want to show him. Um, they give me a wee bit of inspiration of what I'm looking for. So I'll show him that. But I'm going to wait and see how the first tattoo goes first. Because it's just a wee small one. And if I like the artist, I'm going to plan then, obviously, the next project, shall we call it. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm a wee bit nervous. Because it's been about five years since I got the tattoo on my foot. Um, so. And I remember he said the foot and the ribs are the sorest places to get tattoos. But see, to be honest, I thought it was grand. So, we'll see. I don't think my hip will be sore at all. It's not actually my hip. It's like the fleshy part beside my hip, if you know what I mean. But I'll show you the tattoo and all that kind of stuff when I'm actually done. Um, if he lets me record, then happy days. I'll record some of it. So yeah, managed to sleep in mail off at 
and uh, nursery, so he's going to uni. But I'm just waiting for him because he's getting me diesel in my car, so I need to wait for him to come home before I can leave. My appointment's at 12, so I've got plenty of time, but I feel like I might just walk about the town for a bit too, because um, I keep smiling nice and calm when she's being pushed around in her pram. So yeah. Oh, also got this top yesterday. You'll never guess where I got it to. I got it in Poundland and they were actually reduced to a pound. How mad's that? They were reduced from eight pound down to one pound because it's obviously summer collection. But yeah, bargain. I got a few of them so that bargain. Here's my Molly. Oh, she's cracking up. You crack it up. You come on with me today. Hey, you come on with me today. You cracking up here. You cracking up. And if you're wondering, Molly was six weeks on Tuesday. So she's getting getting brave and big, aren't you? And you're getting a wee personality about you. And she definitely lets you know when she's hungry. Oh my god. She's got this really funny squeak that she does. It's so funny. She's a wee drama queen. But I, I'm gonna get my shoes on now and get my coat and I should be off. And I need to put this camera beside the bag so I don't forget it. I'm so forgetful lately. Um, but you can't blame me because of baby brain and all that jazz. So, yeah. We're in the Quirky Raven now. So we are. We're going to get a coffee. And then we're going to go down to the tattoo shop. It's a uh, Tribal Markings tattoo parlor I'm going to. And it's Carol that's doing the tattoo. So it's a few days later now and that's the wee tattoo all healed. You can still feel it's about raised right enough so I wouldn't say it's fully healed but it's like healed so it's not like hurting anymore like it's not scabbing or anything so that's the wee tattoo and it's a homage to being a vegan now for two years so that's why I got that. <laughs> 